Welcome back everybody, this is Dave3D once again for another tutorial. And before we begin, let's just take a quick look at some of the stuff I've been working on. Let's go inside this house. We Alright, we got a carpet, we got, this could be a bathroom, we got some tile. We look up, look at that, an old nasty ceiling, see? Uh, let's see, look up at this one. A nice ceiling, a wooden floor, carpet floor, let's see, go over next door. Oh, look at they got some carpet too. What kind of ceiling they got? A oh, nice one. All right. So I've been uh, just going through here my files and redoing them to give them an interior. And I think this is coming out pretty decent. Yes, I do. All right. But I have a long, long ways to go. So anyway, I figure before I get too far along, see these bow windows right here yeah you say oh they're bay windows yeah but they're bowed because they're round well i'm going to do a bow window today and then maybe next time i'll do a regular bay window and uh, go from there all right so go back to blender look at all this stuff right here all right so let me find a clear open spot hopefully don't crash blender is not really known to crash but when you have everything filled up like i do like all the windows and everything it's just like filled full of stuff yeah, you run the risk of crashing it. But anyway, uh, I do periodic saves. All right, I have a piece here that, that is three meters wide by four meters. No, this is four and a half meters, but that's fine. I'm going to copy that because that's my template, right? Now, on the y-axis, I have it on minus 18 centimeters. Going that way. You can do whatever you want that's just how I have everything lined up and the pivot point is on the bottom left hand corner so what I'm gonna do is let's see this is going to be do 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 let's make it four and a half meters they'll make it a four and a half meter tall one and let's see it would have been helpful for me if I would have wrote all these dimensions down prior to starting recording now I have to remember all right, so what I'm going to do is put a loop cut there, and I want that loop cut to be... All right, so I want this to be 3.75 meters, and make another loop cut in here, and I want that to be 3.25 meters. And I want loop cuts here, and this one, I'm going to hit GG twice and bring it over here. And then I'm going to hit GX.25. All right. And GG. Slide that over. And then GX minus 2.5. Or not 2.5. 0.25. 0 0.25. So 25 centimeters. All right. And so there we go. Right. Then I'm going to take this. Mark seam. I'm not going to. I don't even know why I did that. Pretend I didn't do that. It's not necessary. Um. I'm going to take this. The only reason I did those dimensions is so I don't forget. You can skip that part if you can remember it, but that's fine. All right, so I'm going to, what's the button? Uh, shift S and cursor to selected, and then I'm going to hit Shift A, and then I want a circle. I want vertices 40, all right, and it doesn't matter where I put the radius, but I want it a little bit bigger, so let's say 1.25. There we go, and then what I want to do going to I'm already in line mode all right so I'm going to cut so the reason I have this plane there we're going to delete that later on but I need that to tell me where uh, so I can measure the circle all right so there cut those pieces off then I can just do alt click and select the rest of it without whoops x e without selecting the whole thing and then now you can do it like this, or you can do what I'm gonna do is cut three edges off like this, okay? I'm gonna go into vertice mode so I can see all the little vertices there. Hit one so I can zoom. And then I want this part circle to line up with this line right here. So go back there. All right, and then I'm just gonna hit S. Make sure your cursor is still right on the uh, that line right there, otherwise this ain't gonna work. So I hit S and hold the control button down and just line that up. And you got to zoom right in so you can make sure that you're right on top, vertice on vertice. And then 
I'm going to do this, and I want this to line up there, so I'm going to move it by hitting G, and then go Y, and then I move it on along the Y, and zoom right in really close to make sure those vertices match each other. G, Y. G, Y. And oh, holding control down as well, by the way. Otherwise, it's going to snap to the grid. All right. That's good enough. Zoom out. And then I'm going to duplicate or just extrude. Extrude down 3.25 meters. So E, Z, minus 3.25. I'm going to hit Z twice to make sure I don't have to adjust my normals. It looks good. And then I'm going to... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, so... Hey, my phone. I have mail. I say this is at 325. That's where the window starts. And this is the cutoff. So I'm going to go E. And I'm going to extrude that up to 3.75. Like that. Okay, now I need a bottom. So I'm going to put that at 0.5. And I said this one is four and a half meters. So hold on just a second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. All right. So that's 0.5. Another loop cut. Actually, I don't need the 0.5 one there, but I'm going to leave it there just for the sake of having it there right now. 0.75. And then another loop cut. And that's going to be 0.7. Okay. Now. I think everything, nope, not everything's in place yet. Then I want a window. I'm going to do this. I want the window to go like right there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And the same thing over here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm holding shift down, by the way. It doesn't show up over here when I hold shift down. I don't know why. Then I'm going to control E, mark seam. Over to face mode. L to select delete faces all right then i want to select the whole thing boom and then i want to hit p and separate by selection now i got two different pieces move this out of the way probably don't need that but i always save that piece just in case i'm going to go over here right to get the wrench and i'm going to say solidify and i want the thickness to be 0.2 enter apply and then control one to the back, go into edit mode and copy the faces all the way down here or select and not copy, select just those and extrude. Just I'm going to hit E. I'm not going to move it anywhere. And then I'm going to click to lock that in place. Let's see. Now I have two faces on each other. If I hit G, I can move it around, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit scale Y zero, scale Y zero to make sure they're facing that way, see now they're overlapping. Well, I want that to be 0.18. There we go. Now I'm going to hold Alt and get that whole, all the faces around there and delete them. And then I'm going to delete the top part here. I'm going to delete top, all the pieces down here in the bottom. All right. And then this uh, vertical part and this vertical part, gone. And then I'm going to go to edge mode and I'm going to select this. Hit E to extrude, and then make sure you put that at 3 meters. And then this one, E to extrude, and put that at 0 meters. And then I'm going to select... Actually, what I can do is take that line, take that line, GG, bring that out. Remove doubles. Okay, then select this, select this, select this, and this. W, bridge edge loops. Hold Alt, select that, and then hit F, and then Alt P, and then see now I have all the vertices put in there, or the edges and all that good stuff. All right, so it's no longer an end gon; they are all composed of tries. All right, do the same thing down here, bridge edge loops, and then Alt P. All right, now let's mark some seams here, top and bottom. Mark seam. And then I'm going to take this, this, and this, and E, and I'm going to extrude that up to 4.5. And then I, said, I don't need to do loop cuts in here, so I'm just going to turn these to tries and merge these. Merge at last. Merge at last. Same thing on the other side. 
it's going to be a basic wall. All right, and then down here, extrude it down to 0.5, and then extrude it down once more to zero. And then this one, I need this piece right here. That whole thing blocked off, so I'm not going to merge all of them. I'm just going to merge or move these lines over here like this. And then these two up here. Merge last, merge last, get rid of duplicates. All right, there we go with that. Next, what is next? I'm not sure. All right, Windows. All right, hold Alt and so. Oh no, I'm. I need to go on edge mode there. That's why I did that. All right, there we go. I only got one. Good, and Alt and select. So I got two W. All right, bridge edge loops, and that's supposed to be black facing me, and it's supposed to be white facing in. All right. So I want to flip that. There we go. And then do the same thing on the out part of the window. W, bridge, edge loops. And next thing I'm going to do is make sure that these, because these are the windows, I'm going to select them both. And I want an I to in, inset. All right. And I don't want thickness at anything, but I want the depth to be minus 0.03. Is that minus, no, minus 0.03. Enter. And then inset again. And I want the thickness to be 0.05 and the depth to be zero. And inset again, I want the depth thickness to be zero and the depth to be minus 0.05. There we go. And now we have a lot of seams here, but that's okay. We're gonna clear them up, go into edge mode there. Holding Alt down and Shift and then Control E, clear seam. And then here's a seam I don't want. Oh, I have to go all the way around it like this. That's not funny. How come I don't always have to do that? Sometimes I just hit Alt and select it. And it selects the whole thing. Clear seam. I don't know why. All right. I don't want this seam. Don't want that seam. Oh, come on. Hold on. I don't want that one. All right. Mark these. Mark that. Down. Mark this. Mark this. Mark the seam. All right. Same. Similar on the other side. Do wherever the seam is is where it's going to cut it when I unwrap it and the more you do these the quicker you get whoops I hit clear so it seems like a pain in the butt but after a while you just get used to it all right this whole ledger on here I want to mark a seam all right and I think we got that all around here yes no that needs to be marked. I feel like I have duplicates. Let me hide this. How did that happen? Oh, I didn't delete that. Oh, that's what. Oh, all right. Okay. Let me select this whole thing. Let me hold Alt down, get the perimeter like that, and the perimeter in there. Hit Y and H. Select this, Y and H. Select this, Y, oh, not T, Y and H. Get rid of that menu. All right, and get rid of this. I'm not deleting it, I'm just hiding it. This piece, hopefully I'm getting the right one. Oh, you know what? I'll just hold Alt down there. That's the piece I think I want to delete. X, F, there we go. That's what we wanted to do. Now bring them back. Alt H. Merge the vertices there. There we go. It was an important step. Otherwise, we're going to have some Z fight in there. All right. Now I want to go to material mode. And I want to select this and hit U. Smart UV. Leave the correct aspect and stretch. I want to stretch it. All right. And I know it's upside down because of the template that I have I had brought in here if you don't know how I did that just go back into my episode one which when I made the wall I believe I did the same thing um, to show you if it wasn't that it would be the window it, it definitely the window part um, but anyway definitely the episode with a window I had to do that same thing all right so I'm going to go over here 
and bounding box center so when i hit r 180 flip it upside down it doesn't move to where the cursor is all right same thing over there but now i have material set up i use two material channels on the doors and two material channels on the windows so i'm going to make another channel and i'm going to pick glass it's just the basic thing that i made before and you don't even need you could use a blue color it doesn't matter because these textures aren't or these materials aren't transported out when i save them i believe you can do that i don't know how to do it and i don't care um because i use uh, unreal's um nodes and all that so i'm going to say a sign there that's all that is is the texture that i put in here and i told it hey glass one equals this medieval type thing all right and i'm going to do the same thing over here smart uv project boom and see the lion heads upside down so i need to r180 boom and select the glass no don't pretend i didn't do that hit a to unselect everything <laughs> i'm going to select this part again with the l and then i'm going to assign there we go now both glass pieces just to get them out of the way select them both and hit y and h y removes it from all the vertices so if i didn't remove it hopefully let me save it just in case in case i screw this up and it doesn't work i want to show you what happens if i don't remove the vertices and i just hide it and hide it and then i pick something that it was attached to and let's say i don't know i delete it on accident and then i hit all h all right that didn't work bad example control z control z let's say i pick this something it was attached to and i move it boom all right and then all h look what it did to my window all right so because it's still attached to that so i didn't want it so that's why i always detach de things um disattach whatever the word is um unseparate them before i hide them y h there now what i need to do is unwrap this whole thing now before i do that well let me do that first and then then i'll bring the other thing in I like having all of my textures line up as best that I can. And the easiest way that I know how to do that is to take a piece from a former building that I did and use that as a template to put the things over. So watch this. I'm just going to duplicate this. This is part of my template scrap. And I want to bring that over here. All right, that's selected. Then the second thing I select, it's going to merge to it. And I'm going to hit Control J. And I'm going to edit mode. All right, so now that's where those pieces are. That's where every single part of the bricks and the the main part of the wallpaper is always going to be lined up in all of my creations, right? Well, the majority of my creations. So all that unwrapped stuff is over here. Make sure nothing looks all nothing looks weird. Nothing does. And then I'm going to select. And you just want to rotate it so it's right side up. And I'm going to guess R minus 90. Yep. All right. And then this piece is the front. And I'm going to just drag that down here. These are you know, set to snap onto the vertices. All right. Before I make these line up, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to cut these apart yet. just want everything to line up first. And then I'll make these to line up but we'll get to that in a second all right before we do that i need to see that's that i'm going to r180 that one and match these up uh-oh uh-oh i'm noticing something see how those little uh has those little tabs on there this one doesn't. That's because I forgot to unmark a seam somewhere. That would be the top one, wouldn't it? I can't see it. There we go. Control E. Clear seam. Go back to face mode. Select all of this. And I'm going to unwrap it again. Alright. Then I'm going to 
so like that r180 there now we can bring it down and it's almost identical if not perfectly identical and just go into c mode and get that cursor there to paint select it or whatever they call it all right r minus 90 and bring you down just like it was before and then uh oh what does this part do oops i missed something all right well let's see if i can fix this without unwrapping it again that goes over there so let's see if i can just snap that into place I like snapping it's good it's good in case you mess up all right so how I have this planned let me go to material this is wood all the wood pieces are going to go in a section over here this is going to match all the material or the texture that I actually am going that I have transported over into unreal so everything I put over there is going to be wood I want that land on the side because the grain goes horizontally. All right. Now these pieces right here, this is going to be tricky because I don't remember the add-on that I have installed. It is called, oh my goodness, that's not the name of it. It is called, it's called UV Squares. It's an add-on. I think it's Python based. I had to watch a tutorial to install it and I did it once and now I don't remember how I did it but I found a tutorial if I remember I'll put a link in the description below I do not know if it works with blender 2.8 but I'm using 2.79 and it works fine so what I'm going to do for all of these pieces what I want them to do what it does all right see these curved pieces it makes them straight you can just throw these over in the wood, but the thing is, if you do, if you just throw it over there and whatever you're going to use for wood, what it's going to do, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it on this. Uh, let's try a bigger, thicker piece. Because they're curved, the um, seams are not going to be even see how they're going crisscross criss um horizontal or a diagonal i don't want that i want them to be even even steven so what i'm going to do first because i don't like these ones um i mean i like these ones but i don't like these are harder to do i think there's a little extra step because they are flat pieces I, um the short the um the program doesn't like okay i have to show you the these first in order to show you why i have to show you these first to, to show you how it works in order to show you how it don't work i guess i uh, just watch all right so i want to select this button right here keep uv in edit mode blah 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 all right this will only work if you have that add-on in all right, I want to select that. See, everything disappeared because I only have what I'm working with right here that's selected only appears. So I'm going to hit select or L on this one, right? I'm going to hit Alt E. Boom, it's straight. And then I'm going to hit Alt or L on that, Alt E. There we go. And I'm going to get out of that mode right there. All right. Oops. And I'm going to line these up. Now, these don't always, for some reason, they don't always. Um, come out to the same size even though they're the same they're the same pieces really just in different locations I don't know why but anyway where are they at we're on here yeah those pieces up there all right so I guess what I'm gonna do you don't have to do this it's just wood grain but if you want them to add up or match up perfectly you got to be on 2d cursor zoom in Put your cursor right on the edge and for this instance or for this one I'm just gonna SX on the X axis and then up here I want to do it on the Y axis and SY and there now it's the same size and rotate 90 now 
If I zoom in and move this over to the wood, to the wood, now look at that, the, the wood grain is now horizontal. You say, well, who cares? Well, there's a, it's kind of blurry here, but once I have the normals in there, it's gonna look and the, the reflection is gonna bounce off it. And as I've said in previous videos, I you're not playing, I'm, I don't have it, this is not intended to be a fly on the wall simulator. You're just walking past it. You're not gonna be able to zoom in all the way and see it, you know? Um, if you're concerned about that, then I don't know what to tell you because <laughs> You're gonna have to use multiple uh, materials and one material for each piece and then I, I don't know I've heard people say don't do that and I've heard people say do do that I pff, got me I don't know I wish there was a set rule but there's not all right so I I'm gonna show you that again with this UV uh, add-on select all E and select all E all right and then get out of that mode and do 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 and do the same thing and I don't care about these matching because like I said it's just wood and wood is not always um, uniform but these two now watch this select that one all E blah 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 I'm not reading all that but in the long long and short of it it breaks it hey look at Jesus fish all right so back out control Z and what I need to do and it's because it doesn't turn I, that's all I they're flat surfaces it's it's a pretty much a plane you know it's 2d it doesn't have any other dimension to it and that's why it doesn't work so I'm gonna separate these okay and get rid of the edges clear seam and I'm gonna move them down do 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 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these together on the outer edge W bridge edge loops I'm going to select that I hit T recalculate it because when you do that sometimes the normals get backwards and then it doesn't you don't it doesn't work the way you want it to and I'm going to unwrap regular unwrap just you you all right bring that down and see it's curved now I'm going to take that it's already selected I'm going to hit that and I'm going to select and I'm going to alt E boom straighten it out get out of that mode I'm going to face mode hit alt and just get the middle part and delete them and now I'm going to bring these together here and hey look at they match all right and I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to bring that over here and make this line up where they're supposed to go and I'm going to zoom in get my cursor right on the corner there zoom out make sure that I'm not on bounding when I'm on 2d all right and then I'm going to hit S with my arrow right there where I want it to line up to there boom now take the top one oh get out of select there just want to isolate the top one and then hit G and have it snap right up there and I'll select both go one and then G Z and have it snap right back and merge all your vertices together there we go now this one is also wood and I'm going to let's see if I can just combine oh I'm missing something here where's this part I just did that part I want these parts <laughs> I want the edges they have to come right in there and snap and sometimes because they're curved they don't reach all the way to the top so I don't know why that is but it is and it doesn't do that when I'm working with square things so I want both of these selected and since the cursor is already where I want it I'm just gonna go up here and hit S boom actually control Z this should be perfect um, you don't want to change the width of it I'm just gonna hit S Y there nope top one up here not there S Y there now take this one and I'm gonna move that over to the right side and make sure that snaps in. Now everything is kosher with that. It's like this, just put those on top of each other, rotate on the 90, bring those up just so it fits nice and snug with everything else. Select that whole piece 
and then bring that over here. I time this start to finish with no uh, with no mistakes and no commentary after doing it 50 times and it takes an hour so with commentary it's probably gonna take more than that but that's fine cuz y'all love watching day 3d unless you'd rather watch PewDiePie go watch PewDiePie PewDiePie needs to wash his mouth out with soap sometimes um, <laughs> Uh, we're here. I was like, where are the other pieces? All right. So I want to go B mode and I want to select half of it, right? And I just want to move it over just a little bit. Gee, there it snapped right in. Sometimes it don't. You have to live, give it a little nudge, but that's okay. It didn't have to this time. It was perfect. Take the whole thing. And I'm going to take it over to the brick section. And hopefully it snaps right on it. If not, just zoom right in. You got to zoom in anyway. Right, and then you put your cursor right in the corner. Zoom out. Doo -doo -doo. Put this where you want it to line up and hit S. Boom. There. Now I'm going to unselect all and just select the wallpaper part. Now the same size and I'm just going to hit. Nope. Wrong button. I hit S. No, don't hit S. Hit G. Boom. There. There. Almost done. Sort of. All right, you see where we're going, right? Right. All right, so this part, I'm going to hold Alt and select that right there. And I'm going to, you remember how we overlapped that? Well, I'm just going to unwrap it, per, um, the whole thing. And then I'm going to overlap it like this. And then select that whole thing and bring that over here to this, like, orangey, which is like a concrete or plaster. And I want that in there. Make sure it's where I lined it up and put that cursor there and just make sure it's I'll, go, I'll hold control down there and make sure it's all in that box all right now next thing that I'm going to do is hit alt H and merge all the vertices there for the window and I want to take one window and I want to hit shift D enter and then P all right now it's isolated a copy of it is at least all right, and I don't want the glass texture there messing me up. All right, and I don't want any of the uh, textures or colors messing me up either. All right, we in edit mode. Let's get rid of the seams. Clear seam, and then I'm gonna. I need that T menu up there, and hit I, and I want the thickness to be 0.05 and the depth to be zero. And then I want to isolate that border that I just made. Hit Y, and then move it to the side. All right. I should not have held control down now it don't snap control Z only hold I make a point to only hold control down and move stuff over on the UV editor don't do it here otherwise you're gonna have to finagle stuff in order to get it back on the grid I don't know what I was thinking all right I'm gonna want two parts two of these Let's duplicate it and move it on the X over there. And then control, or not control, select everything. And I'm going to move everything on the Y back um, two centimeters. G, Y, minus 0.02. Enter. And then this one, I'm going to take that. And I just, yeah, do that. G, Y, no, not X. G, Y, 0 0.005. So it's going to come forward another uh, 0.5 centimeters I think 0 0.005 meters yeah so I want that offset from here these are gonna be the horizontal window bars and these are gonna be no these are gonna be the vertical horizontal th th no such thing these are going to be the vertical window bars and these are gonna be the horizontal window bars Wow Wow all right so I'm gonna select the middle do I want the middle I normally pick four on these style windows all right so I'm gonna hit control B all right don't touch anything don't touch the mouse nothing all right see that dotted line if I touch the mouse what it's gonna do is bevel but I don't want to use I don't want to eyeball it so now let's cancel that out now I have to hit control B again and I want to hit 
point zero two enter if you want it thicker go point zero three I don't recommend going any thicker than that okay isolate them let's try three though control B point oh three yeah that looks better hit Y because if it's too skinny it starts looking funny in the game engine even though there's nothing wrong with it it's probably why you need 4k for everything I don't know hit Y hide them then get rid of everything else that's here alt H bring them back now over here I'm going to control R and I want I normally go with four control B 0 0.03 Y hide and you select all of that and bring them back now make sure you on the grid mode line those up go into invisible mode do 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 with the Z there everything's lined up now now we still have to get this thick and everything so I'm going to go over here I'm not going to touch anything yet except for going to the solidify modifier I'm not going to touch the uh, thickness yet I want to go into color mode because I'm going to need to see what's going on here and I'm going to just hit G and then it should snap right in there now don't merge them I'm turning around see now there's a gap right that's fine I'm going to edit mode select everything shift s and cursor to select it what it does is put the cursor right in the middle of that and I'm just going to hit s to scale it and I'm going to scale it until I see the edge barely go inside the other part of the the other model the other mesh there we go just barely right now I'm going to turn around all right I want that to poke through this side so on uh, thickness I'm guessing it's going to be 0 0.8 0.08 eight centimeters sometimes I gotta put a little bit more um, distance in there but uh, let's see I trying to get it about the same let's try 0 0.085 yeah that looks good all right so I'll get out of edit mode and bring that back down now what we want to do select all the horizontal pieces and isolate them like that and select the vertical pieces keep in mind that I did not set the modifier yet so if I hit the eyeball there see it just takes the visual away all right now I'm going to apply it boom now it's all thick so I'm with the ZZ mode whoops and I'm going to run that through like that y h now i have all those tops i don't want the top pieces you don't need the top pieces that's why i did that bring it back and it's gonna, gonna be not gonna be the same with the horizontal pieces so now i'm just gonna select individually those ends makes it easier to unwrap plus we don't need them because they're not going to be seen and neither is the edge of this so just get that out of the way and now we're going to mark our seams and I'm going to be holding alt down while alt and shift by or while I select those so I can select multiples that turn that just one on these ends and then or one on the those pieces and then the corners of these and control E mark seam and then select everything and unwrap not as tedious as it was in part like one see I've found an easier way to do these good not part one but the last window one what was it the last one I did the door last time right whenever I did the window so I'm just take line all of these up like so and now all of these are curved all these pieces right here so I'm going to use that straighten that UV uh, add-on I told you about earlier do the same thing with every one of these pieces and that didn't work why didn't it work okay I don't know why I'm gonna get out of that mode I'm gonna isolate these sometimes it works sometimes it don't but I'm gonna isolate them 
now they're their own thing where are they oh i'm gonna select them there now they're their own no where there <laughs> i had to find them because i was in that mode all right no select all there there now that they're isolated it should work there I don't it does you don't always have to do that I don't know why have you seen that it said W that's because I hit the wrong key don't think that was a shortcut that was necessary it was just a blunder all right let's straighten these out and straighten these out yeah, it's so big well it doesn't need to be that big let's make you smaller actually get out of that mode no Arr. don't want them overlapping actually it probably didn't matter but whatever just make this smaller just line all of them up And then this one, that's two pieces. Okay. I'm going to bring that over to the wood. Okay. And same as all the other times. Scale that down. Get out of object mode, or get out of edit mode, back in the object, and go over to the other, where we separated it from, and join it back together. Merge them. All right. Get rid of vertices. Now, those are in there. Where's the other pieces? These pieces right here. Rotate 90. And then do the same thing over here. Make sure there's no overhang. All right. Now we're all in wood. We're all in the wood. And then and, and we are going to go into the Z mode. And do, 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 do. I know. It's not called Z mode. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called. It's called invisible mode. All right. All right. Material. Now, object mode. And merge that with the main window now now before I do anything else let's take this top part right here and extrude this so E Z and I'm gonna go up point um, two yeah I think that's good I'm gonna select that hit Y separate it and then move it Going to Z mode, make sure it's not black, and it is, and I'm going to recalculate it, and then I'm going to hit in 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 I for I forget what it's called now. Inset, insert, not insert, inset. All right, thickness zero, depth 0.07. Enter now. Control clear seam, and then what I want to do is mark these, not this just those in the back end and then same thing over here this and this mark seam all right now select the whole piece and unwrap it and we gotta extend this out all right and do 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 the same thing to straighten that out with that add-on there we go looks perfect and I'll move this over to the uh, the orangey where I, the color where I have it is, is the colored concrete the this place where I have the colored concrete the orangey orangey hey judgey make sure that's not going over into the gray it's fine all right and then move this back over there we go then 
going to extrude this up. Um, how many? 2.25? or 0.25? I can't remember now. It's just, uh, no, 50. E, Z, 0.5. Is that right? Nope. I, it's supposed to be 4.5. I just change it there manually. Now, I need some dimensions. So hold on just a moment, and I'm going to get some dimensions. Okay, we're back. All right, now... You can pick whatever dimensions you want, but this is just what I do, and I since I've used it and everything else, I'm going to keep uniform for every everything that I already have. Wait, that didn't make sense to me. I hope it made sense to you. I want to stay uniform with everything I've already created. All right, I want to make two edge cuts, edge loops, whatever. Take the first one. First one is going to be 3.875. 3.875. Actually, it's like 3.875333, something like stupid like that. It's not going to matter. And then the top one, I have it 4.335. 4.335. All right, now, get rid of that. Let's isolate this whole thing that we just made. Do, do, do. And why? Because. Out of the way. Move that. And then. Um, I wonder if this is a good idea. Don't isolate it. Pretend I didn't do anything. I want to inset 05. No. Yes. Yes, 05. So 5 centimeters. 0.05. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of... Leave the bottom, but I want to get rid of the sides... And the top. Okay, and then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to inset or hit I, boom, and get rid of the. I want the top on this one, but I don't need the top on this one, and I don't need the sides either. There we go, and then. I'm going to get rid of that extra edge there. GG. There we go. It's gone. Okay. Now, let's go back to the material mode. Oh, no. It looks like yucky. All right. Make a seam there. Unwrap it. Come on. It's curved. It's not what I want. Let's do the same trick again with that add-on. Alt-E. It's straight. That's how I like it. And let's just do that to it. That way I can make it bigger and it'll look less blurry. Since oh, I have all these textures crammed into each other on this one sheet. We have to cut corners where corners are available. Now, that part's done, but we want to give it a little bit of flair. So I'm going to say G, Z, minus 0.04, like that. And I'm going to get that one, G, Z, 0.04. All right, looks a little bit better. Looks all nice and fluffy. You know what else we're going to do? I'm going to take that middle part. I can't remember if I did this part on the other one, but I have another part on this map that is decorated. It's meant just for the decorated parts. And it's just a repeating pattern. And I think we'll make this a little bit smaller. So let me do this. There. The smaller this is, the larger this is going to appear, and vice versa. The bigger I make it, see how tiny those patterns are? Watch. I shrink it, and it gets bigger. And that about almost matches everything else. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect as all my other pieces, but I want it to be pretty close. All right, that's done, that's done, that's done. Next thing I'm going to do is take 
this and this. But I'm gonna move this out. See where I made that band there? So I'll leave the band uns band unselected. I'm gonna hit G, Y minus 0.05. Now it comes right out like that. One of the things I can do, if I if you want, you can take this. Duplicate it, bring that down. And just make sure that snaps. I think it does. Yep. And now it just looks even cooler. All right. So then the next thing I'm going to do is take, find the middle there, like that. And I'm going to. Hit inset and I want the thickness to be 0.07 ish and the depth to be zero. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the other side like that and there. And then I'm going to, you know what? I think seven is too much. Let's try that again at 0.05. Let's control Z. Let's go out one more. Let's go out to that one. Let's try. Now let's try 0.07. And then do the same thing on this side. And then now we can select all these right there. Not the exterior. Can you see? Oh, now you can see it. See the lines? See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? Ah. All right. Hit I one more time. Thickness, 0.03, depth, 0.02, enter. And then I one more time. Leave the thickness alone, depth, minus 0.02, enter. Now, you left highlighted those pieces and just move those over to the uh, decorated side. Say, what are you talking about? All right, I'm just giving you ideas. You can you can have this however you want. I'm just, just watch. Just watch and see how I do it, All right? And then you can, you can do it your own way. All right. So now I want these to be decorated in colored concrete part. So I want these as big as possible on the UV map. That should be good enough and snap it to that corner or something like that there we go get rid of these don't need those all right one more thing left no there's not there's more than one more thing left there's a couple things left i want this to be where is it up here i want it to go up to this baseboard border but you know what I'm just going to take it from another piece that we've already made all right and I'm going to separate that out it's always good to make everything interchangeable delete that move that over there Join these together. There. All right. Cheat when you can. Select this whole perimeter. What did I just do? I hit one. I want control one. And I want shift D to duplicate that. And then move the duplication out of the way. And control E. Get rid of the seam. Clear seam. And then I want it to extrude on the Y.02. All right. And I just brought it out two centimeters select that whole thing recalculate it and then hit I thickness zero and I want the depth to be 0.08 and so there's what it did is left you with a hole in the middle so I'm going to bridge edge loops go to face mode go to the part that's going to go up against the wall just get that face or those faces there and mark the corner seams. Whoops, not that one. 
Mark scene. All right, and then select that, unwrap it, on face mode. R90 and just put them on top of each other and this is going to be wood as well just make sure it's in the wood section try not to overlap anything go back to grid mode or yeah bring the grids back up by hitting, I just control one. If you don't know, control one goes to the back side, regular one goes to the front side, seven goes to the top, control seven goes to the bottom, but see, I have all the other stuff in the way, so I just try to stick to one. Three goes to the 90, control three goes to the other side, right? So that's that little tutorial on that. I learned all of that by watching the Blender Guru. How to make a donut. And of course, as always, his link to his donut tutorial will be in the description somewhere below. Alrighty, now. <laughs> that's done, that's done, that's done. One more, actually there's two or three more things. And we made, last time I showed you how to make the, I don't know what to call them, but it was the perimeter of the wall, the perimeter of the door, but I have one the same way, um, except it is taller for this size. And I'm going to use that. However, in this instance, I don't know if you remember back in the beginning, we went over, actually it probably would work. Hmm. Well, it does, but I'm not gonna do it that way. <laughs> If you remember we went over not 50 centimeters these are 50 not 50 centimeters 50 yeah 50 centimeters these are 50 centimeters wide each pole pillar column whatever they're 50 centimeters I went over 25 centimeters if you remember at the beginning so I'm gonna make these 25 centimeters if I get rid of this middle because we're not gonna use that because it's curved all right so I'm gonna select this whole thing right here and I want to say going in 25 centimeters because 50 divided by 2 is 25 so GX is this minus or plus minus 0.25 yeah, minus on that side and then the other one is gonna be plus I got the whole face there yep GX 0.25 there also I'm going to get rid of that top part right there before I forget man I'm going to bring that like that and I'm going to join it control J get rid of some of the duplicates oh I don't need the tops of these either is there anything else that I could delete on those and be safe I think I could probably delete the interfaces here I don't think they're showing nope get rid of those always cut corners where you can cut corners if if it's not going to be a cluster if it's going to be a cluster then you better make your own piece you better make individual pieces but if you can reuse pieces and cut corners do it all right so i want this whole thing to be covered on top but i don't care about merging everything you know where um every vertice is connected to every vertice i'm going to make my own top and just put it on there So I'm just going around the, uh, the perimeter here, selecting the uh, edges. And then I'm going to hit Shift D, Enter, and then P to make it its own part. There, just make sure you s don't select the whole thing. There, see, got it selected. And I'm going to find a space where I can go upside down here. Hit 7, boom. One well, edit mode, and I'm going to mark all seam and then, oops, merge this. Anything that needs to be merged, I'm gonna merge it. Um, we, got a, we got two vertices there, I'm gonna merge those. And I wanna merge these right at the apex there, so I'm gonna bring this in as best I can to match that edge right there. And GX, 
Well, I have it zoomed in so close the vertices moving really slow. Zoom out. Get it close, then zoom in. Good. Then I'm going to take this. And then that. Merge it last. There we go. And do the same thing over here. Where are we at in time? Over an hour! But that's okay. Hour and five minutes. That's pretty much how much real time it is without the commentary. Merge at last. All right, now we have to fill in the top here. Hit F to make a face. Oops, didn't want to hit. What did I happen? What did I? Hey, what did I happen? <laughs> I don't know. Hit Alt down. You just got the uh, curve there and hit F. And then Alt P. Select all and recalculate it, then unwrap it. And then I want this to be colored concrete. Everything is colored concrete. Everything, even if it's plaster. How do you know if it's plaster or concrete? If you can put your fist through it, it's plaster. <laughs> if, you, if you break your hand, it's concrete. Visually, they pretty much look the same. That's what plaster is for, is to fake, to fool you. Don't be go punching your walls. Hey, Mom, look. I found the difference. The sidewalk's concrete and the walls are plaster. Dave 3D taught me. Who? All right. Hit Z just a couple times. Make sure that it's not black. All right, and then join both of them together. Ah, I got rid of 17 vortices. Now, I'm not too concerned since this is going to be a first floor piece, but if it was a second floor piece, I would say to do the same thing in the bottom, but since this is going to sit on the first floor, I don't care. Watch. Part two. I care now. Yeah, but I really don't right now. Um, there. That is my bow window, and with commentary, I'm only 10 minutes over what normally it would be. So what I'm going to do is I want to see how this stands up to the original one that I made. And see if it looks better. Um, where is the original? This was the original. Zoom in. Hmm. Let's go to texture mode. Oh, look at that. I did it on the original one. Look at that. I did. Huh. I guess I do care. Ha <laughs> ha. Well. Um. I'm trying to see a big difference. Yeah, I pretty much did it the same. So I was just seeing if I would just throw out the other one and then I'd showcase the new one. But since they're almost identical, I will just show you. It's right there. That's what it looks like. Brought into uh, Unreal with that particular texture attached to it. All right, that's the end of that tutorial. I hope you like it. Like I said, there's a million one ways to do it. I only did one way. I can't wait till I'm totally done with this because my whole idea is just see what we can build. And then I'll sell these items. And then I'll give, you know, some of them will be free, but not the whole set. I mean, I, I, I got to make a living somehow, right? Um, but we'll see what we can do. I haven't set up an online store yet because I'm still working. I have to have an entire set in order to, to, to put it up for sale. I don't, I don't like half sets. Um, but yeah. But I'll see you next time. And just like I used to say on my other channel, keep on building. <laughs> but actually, you've been watching Dave 3D. If you made it this far, I want to sincerely thank you. If you like these videos, click like. 
If you hate them, well, you know what to do. But nevertheless, make sure you subscribe. You know you want to. And remember, it's all fun and games until you figure out what you're doing.